use the right term, Ari, at the top, which was authoritarianism. I mean, the center of authoritarianism is the idea that there should be some people who are aggrieved and need to be protected by power, and they're usually the powerful. And in this case, you know, if you show up with Donald Trump somewhere, you're likely to be showing up in a crime scene. And that's the pattern that we've seen based on all the prosecutions we've seen against Donald Trump and all the prosecutions against the people who are close to him. That is almost unprecedented. I can't think of any other former or current president that has ever had that level of criminal indictments swirling around them. But, you know, the real point here, Ari, is most Americans, particularly if you're a person of color, are not only feeling the brunt of the criminal justice system for things like misdemeanors, often fined and with fees that impoverish you, that make you choose between paying the rent, um, having to get a user's loan, because even avoiding diversion programs because you're low income. And here we have the wealthy, the powerful, the highly educated and the privileged, and they're standing up and claiming they are victims when they have every power, every possibility, including a Rudy Giuliani who was pulling down, you know, a $6 million a year figure salary until he decided to be an unpaid lawyer for Donald Trump and spending $230,000 a month in terms of a lavish lifestyle, these are the privileged. And in any democracy, no matter who you are, don't do the crime if you can't do the time and if you can't pay the ticket. Hmm.